Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, we are actually, we're not in Los Santos. We are in Blaine County. We are way up here in Blaine County. Um, get some nature. I hear a dog. What's up, doggy? Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He's harmless. I hope he's home. We're packing. We'll be fine. Um, so I want to talk about the 80s today. And uh, what makes them different? Why are they so special? Um, what, what do they mean to you? Um, I've heard in the comments, I've read a lot of really interesting tidbits and stories, um, you know, why, uh, the eighties are, uh, different and special. I know, uh, I mean, I grew up in the eighties. I graduated high school in 1988. Um, so I was a, a solid teenager in the, in the, in the height of the eighties in the 83, 84 and on the birth of MTV and, and this, that, and the other. Um, but, but what makes them, what makes those years stand out compared to other decades? Um, the music is what everybody gravitates to. Everybody says, well, the music was different, you know, and, and that they don't, they kind of stop there. Um, but there was a lot of things that were different in the eighties. It wasn't just the music. And, uh, so we'll touch on those and, and, and I'll be curious as to see what, what everybody thinks and, and, every, you know, and everything that I'm going to say is just my opinion. Um, you know, everybody's going to have their own thoughts and, and, and I'm no expert on anything. So these are just my observations, whether they're right or wrong. They're just my opinions. So. Um, so before we really get into it, just, uh, a quick note for this week, we have, uh, we have Rush Power Windows coming out, um, on the, on vinyl series. Um, and then at the end of the week, uh, I think it's Friday, the volume two of Miami Vice, the music from Miami Vice, which, you know, it's a, that's a 80s theme. So, um, and that's, that's going to be worth checking out. It's quite long. It's almost three hours, I believe. It's like two hours and 40 minutes of music from the show. So, and, and there's still more to come on that series. Um, I believe that there will be at least a volume three uh, for that. So, stay tuned for that. But, um, so let's talk about movies. You know, movies in the 80s, in my opinion, were a cut above. And they, it started right from, right from jump, um, with Caddyshack. Caddyshack came out in either the spring or the summer of 1980. And, uh, it's probably one of the funniest movies ever made. You know, you had a lot of funny movies in the eighties and, and it was a real, really funny, um, the movies that were made. It wasn't the humor that came after that, which I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know how to, how to really put it into words. It's just different. You know, you, I, I you can't compare movies of today or even 10, 15 years ago to movies like Caddyshack or 48 hours or, you know, Beverly Hills Cop. I mean, you had really, really funny movies uh, made in the 80s. And I just don't, I just don't see that. Maybe it's just me getting older or whatever, or maybe I'm just, you know, the way I am. Um, uh, I just don't uh, find a lot of humor in some of these movies that are out today. Um, but, uh, you know, and then, and then you had, the, the, the juggernauts, you know, you had the big franchises, you had Star Wars, and I know Star Wars came out in the 70s, I know that, but the, the, the marketing empire 
that Star Wars really didn't get its feet on the ground until the 80s. Um, you know, most of the toys, their major years of sales were in the 80s, especially when the, the, the two sequels uh, came out, especially the first one, uh, Empire Strikes Back. Um, that's when you had, you had, I mean, they dominated. They dominated Christmas. You know, it all was Star Wars. You know, everything under the tree was Star Wars for some of those years. You know, and that didn't start when the first movie came out. When the first movie came out, people thought, wow, that's a really good movie. You know, it's crazy. You know, it's it's uh, had a lot of cool special effects and a lot of interesting characters. But it wasn't, it wasn't like, it didn't have the momentum that it gained in the 80s um, when people really fell in love with the franchise. And, and you had a lot of major franchises in the 80s, you know, with the Raiders of the Lost Ark and, and that, that, that whole thing started. Um, you know, and it was, boy, everything was a sequel. I mean, because because people just couldn't get enough. Everything had a sequel in the eighties. My goodness, and they're still making they're they're remaking movies to this day that were that were conceived of in those years. You know, um, rightly or wrongly. I mean, I I know they have a lot of remakes of TV shows that were from the late seventies and the in the eighties that, quite frankly, are. You know, there should be a law against him, you know. We really want to redo MacGyver? I mean, I've never seen this new show. I mean, really? It's got to be crap. I mean, it can't be MacGyver. I mean, it can't be the same show. Um, you know, you, you, you just can't redo a show like Magnum P.I. You just can't redo it. It's been done, and that's it. I mean, it's, you know, you you can't paint another Mona Lisa. You, you know, you just leave it be, you know. Don't ruin it. You're not going to make it better. You know, you, you're just not going to make it better. That's why they have reruns. That's why they have DVDs. Go buy the DVD, you know, and watch the original. Um, I mean, I haven't seen any of these shows. Just making sure. I don't want any mountain lions. Sneaking up on me. Um, actually, we'll take a mosey. We'll take a stroll. There's my old car from the 80s. That was my first car. White Cutlass. It's mom's car. <laughs> then it was my car. You know, that's the way it rolled back then. Um, so, getting back to movies. You know, it was the decade of Spielberg, obviously. Um, but it was also the the demise of the R-rated movie, too. Because you had a lot of R-rated movies that were comedies, like Stripes. Uh, Bill Murray, and you know, he played the guy who joined the military, da-da-da. Um, that was an R-rated movie. They would never make a movie like that today. And, and have it that rated like that. Because it won't make any money. And that's why... That's a, that's a big reason why they stopped making those kind of movies. And, and having the ratings that they did. Now everybody wants to be low rated. PG, you know, family this, family that. And, and the comedy has changed. Um, you know, it's... It it started in in the nineties with with some of the you know the Adam Sandler what is it Adam Sandler yeah Adam Sandler kind of um, uh, comedy which you know some people like it I I don't you know I don't I don't care for it I mean I've seen maybe one of his movies I just don't think he's funny but you know hey I, I don't get all tweaked about it because it's not that big a deal it's just not my thing. Um, but, uh, and TV, I don't know. I mean, was it better? Boy, 
I think so. I think so because it wasn't so, and I'm going to use this word a lot in this little discussion, is immersive. TV shows were just TV shows in the 80s, in the 70s, in the 80s. You know, people didn't become so involved in these characters like they do today and the shows and, and um, you know, I mean, my goodness, you know, you, you have a hit show today and, and if a cast member happens to pass away in real life, the they just cancel the show. Whereas back in the 70s, they would just get a new actor. You know, or if a guy wasn't working out, like, I, I can give you a couple of examples. You know, Bewitched is the classic one, you know, where they switched out the husband. Same guy, same character. You know, it wasn't like she got remarried. It was the same dude, but it was a different actor. Nobody cared. Nobody cared. You could never do that kind of thing today. People would lose their minds if a, if a TV show tried to do that today. I mean, I don't know what a popular TV show is. I'm, I'm, I just so, I watch so little TV, um, you know, but, but can you imagine if, you know, imagine your, your, the, the popular TV show of today, if they just switched out a character and didn't even acknowledge it, people would go crazy. And, and that, and it, the bewitched example is just, it's, that's not even a one-off. They did it multiple times. Starsky and Hutch did it with Captain Dolby. You watch the first couple episodes of, of Starsky and Hutch, it's a completely different Captain Dolby. But it's still Captain Dolby. They didn't, it's not like they got a new lieutenant or captain or whatever he was. You know, it's the same character. They just switched out the dude. Nobody cared. You know? They did that. Well, actually, they did that with Rockford Files, with the father. If you watch the first episode of Rockford Files, he's got a different father than the classic one that was with him for years and years and years. And I'm sorry, I don't know any of these guys' names. Um, uh, but but everybody knows who I'm talking about. The Rockford's dad, Rocky. And, and the first Rocky was the same Rocky. You know, he was the truck driver. He had the same background and everything else, but for some reason he didn't work out. I guess maybe people didn't like him or something happened or, you know, maybe get sick, whatever. So they got this new guy. But uh, nobody flipped out. You could never do that kind of crap today and get away with it. People would be, people would be jumping off the buildings especially if it's a big show like Friends or, or, you know, somebody, one of these uber, uber populated, uh, popular shows with, with all these crazy stars, you know, you could never just flip one of those actors out for somebody else without even acknowledging it. The internet would, would, would explode. <laughs> the internet would shut down. <laughs> um, if that, if that were to happen, you know, They'd have to have a new social media outlet just to cover that, that, that drama, you know? So, so the TV was certainly different, you know, because it, everybody realized it's just a TV show. People get way too involved in, in media today, whether it's social media, movies, excuse me, uh, social media, movies, or music, or, you know, they take everything way too seriously. And I think that was the difference because that kind of stuff started really in the 90s and went up from there, especially with the with the launching of the Internet and the popularity of the Internet. That changed everything. But you know, people just don't seem to just let go of stuff nowadays. Um, so... Getting back to the subject of the 80s, I think it was more than just the music is what my final point was. It was, it was, everything was just a little bit different and a little bit more, um, less intrusive into your life. You know, everybody knew it was just a movie. 
you know, or just a song or just a game. And I'll talk to you about the games. You know, we're in a game. We're in a game right now. This isn't an 80s game. This is a new game. Well, new game. It's 20 years old. Uh, we had games in the 80s. Uh, I remember getting Pong when I was a, just a kid in the 70s. And then, of course, the 2600. And here's the difference. They had less quality than they have today. You'd never have a game that looks like this. Obviously. But they were just games. And everybody knew they were just games. You know, I've never seen anybody rage quit Donkey Kong. Because there's that word again. Immersive. Games today... I don't know. They're they're uh, they're. I think they attribute to to people being angry. You know, boy, you. I mean, just search out some some rage quits on 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 YouTube, and uh, you know, people get crazy with these games. It's just, um, you know, whereas in the '80s we knew they were just stupid games. You know, they were fun. They were simple and they were fun, you know, but you don't, you don't rage quit berserk or defender or missile command, you know, you know, and you can spend just as much time on those games as the ones today and have just as much fun to be honest with you, but they're not so they're not so immersive where who knows what they're doing to, to you, your insides, you know, in your, in your, in your brain, to be honest with it. We just don't know. Um, I don't think we know a fraction of what we probably should know about the effects of technology on the mind and whether you can use it in any uh, uh, any example you want, whether it's cell phones or vaccines or, you know, whatever, you know, I, I don't think we have a clue. Uh, I, I think we, we think we know a lot more than we actually know, to be honest with you. And I'm not blaming, you know, I'm not one of these people that blame video games for, you know, uh, deviant behavior or anything like that. I'm not going down that road, but, um, just overall, um, that's a nice spot. Look at that. You know, maybe they contribute. I don't know. I don't know. People, people get wrapped up in their, in their games, you know, and they're, they're super, like I said, immersive. It's like everything today. Um, and that brings me to technology. You know, we had technology in the 80s, but it wasn't like it is today. It, it's just, it's technology that you can walk away from. You can't walk away from technology today because they've designed it to where you, you almost can't, you know. Um, you want to put somebody in a mental institution, take their phone away for, for three hours. And, and they'll be climbing the walls in, in, in 15 minutes, you know. Um, you know, I mean, we, we had technology in the 80s. We had, we had mobile uh, media outlets like the Walkman. We had, we had CDs. CDs came out in the 80s. Um, we even had um, the, 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 the beginnings of recordable digital media with the mini disc, I, I think they came out in 1990, um, right at the very end of the eighties. And, uh, and that's when the music company really started to flip out over, over digital media that you could record on because there was no thing. It's just, there was no such thing as CDRs. Uh, we just had CDs, you know, there was no way you were going to burn your own disc. That's for sure. Um, but not in a TRS 80, that's for sure. But, um, so 
you know, the technology that we had didn't take over your life, you know, and, uh, I don't know, simpler. That's the, that's the word I see probably most of in the comments of the, the 1980s, um, videos is in the comment section. I see the word simple or simpler. It was a simpler time. And, um, and that's probably true. You know, I think, um, I think everything, everything wants to dominate and that's done by, you know, because marketing Marketing wants to dominate you. Marketing wants to dominate your wallet. And there's so many ways in today's world, especially now with the internet. Well, now with the internet, we've had the internet for a generation now, but uh, um, there's so many ways that you can spend your money that it's a, it's a battleground uh, for dominance of, of your disposable income. You know? So... Um, but yeah, I don't know. So you could say games were crap back then. I, I tend to disagree. Um, I would, I would play it. i tell you what, if all these games that we play today disappeared and all we had was, uh, was consoles like the, the ColecoVision and Atari 2600, I'd be fine with that. No problem. I can deal with that no problem at all. Um, and and I'm a and I'm into games. I've always been into games all my life. Um, yeah, I don't know. So maybe it's technology that's that's the over that's the driving force that makes us long for uh, simpler days you know like cars cars um, cars have no style no personality there it's cookie cutter because it's all based around technology you know you watch a car, car a car ad today they don't even mention anything about the car all they talk about is the infotainment center and and and, and its Bluetooth capabilities and whether it has a hotspot or not um, I mean, I, I defy you to, 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 to watch any, you know, any car company ad that even talks about what kind of engine is in the car, you know, unless that's a specific attribute of, of the car, like, uh, you know, like a Dodge Challenger or something like that. Um, I mean, that's what makes it, you know, so they're gonna, they're gonna talk about that, but your average run of the mill car, you don't know, nobody cares. You know, they just want to know about the, about the gadgets in it. And the quality has gone down, even in cars, even in, in flagship cars, uh, you know, like the Mercedes S-Class, which used to drive the whole industry, you know, um, the technology put in an S-Class, you'd see 10 years later in regular cars. That's not even true today because the quality sucks. It's a piece of crap. But it's got a lot of gizmos in it. But you park it next to a, a W126 or a, or a 140, quality isn't there. Guarantee it. You'll, you'll be able to, even a non-car person will be able to feel the difference and hear the difference. You can hear the difference of the doors shutting and, and, and the fit and the finish. You know, that's all cars. Look at Tesla. It's a good example. I hate Teslas. Can't stand the dude either. Whatever his name is. L. Ron Musk. He's selling a... He's selling a piece of crap with a with an S-Class price that has the fit and the finish of, of a something, a used Kia. You know? And a car, cars that haven't been redesigned since they came out. Other than facelifts. Because he's not putting any money into it. The Model S is the same. 
it had a minor facelift, but it's the same car as it came out. Because he doesn't want to retool his factories, because he's cheap. And, and that's going to be the demise of Tesla, mark my words. People think he's this genius. He's not. He's an idiot. And, he, and there's no way that he's, he can compete long term against companies like Volkswagen. Who sell 15 million cars a, a year. Dreaming. But that's divisive. It's another thing. I prefer I I know I know cars are faster now. I don't care. Cars are fast enough before. They had more style back then. And as a kid Where is he? There he is. Sorry, kitty. Um, as a kid, you could go to a used car lot or junkyard or whatever, salvage yard, and get a piece of junk muscle car for a thousand bucks. You know, I went to high school with a kid who drove a, a Dodge Challenger. He paid fifteen hundred dollars for it. And he used to burn rubber in front of my, my, my house, picking me up for school. Um, I remember buying a 68 Firebird for $3,200. You can't do that nowadays. Cars are impossible to work on. And you'll never, you'll never get those kind of deals anymore. I mean, even cars that were, you know, that are like clunkers today... You can't buy cheap cars anymore, you know, like kids, like kids in high school. Um, I don't know. This turned into a, <laughs> this turned into a rant. Uh, I just wanted to talk about nice stuff that, uh, that happened in the eighties and, and why it's kind of sentimental and it turned into an anti, you know, people are going to think I'm Unabomber or something. <laughs> I'm just, I'm like, it's my manifesto. <laughs> um, you know, so I'm going to skip the last couple of topics because then I'm just going to end up pissing everybody off. To be honest with you. I'm not even going to walk the rest of the way. Uh, God, cause I was just about to talk about clothes and trash and how clothes are trashy today. And <laughs> everyone's got, 10 pounds of metal in their face. <laughs> I don't want to go down that road. Uh, look, you know, don't get so, don't get so worked up is what my point is. You know, this is an eighties channel. It is what it is. It's nothing's perfect, man. You know, if, if, if there's spelling mistakes and there are typos or, you know, a song came out a month, early don't get all worked up about it have an 80s vibe because we didn't give a crap about details like that you know and if you disagree with me on everything that's fine i don't mind just don't get all bent about it um you know i think everybody just needs to relax everybody needs to unplug for a little bit to be honest Yeah, I don't know. Nobody's watching this anyways. So I'm just going to walk. This will be ASMR video. <laughs> this part, this part, okay, the other shit's over with, and, and from this part over, I might just shut up and walk. <laughs> it's, you guys can go to sleep. Um, maybe I'll play music, play some tunes. I can spawn a radio. I don't know. Nobody's going back 
And uh, so here's the here's a good question for you guys. To if anybody is still hanging with me on this, do you think that we will ever have a decade like the 1980s? You know, do you think do you think we'll ever be nostalgic enough about the the 2000s? I don't, to be honest. Yeah, I don't. I think the 60s and the 80s are pretty much going to stand as um, special times. You know? my opinion anyways but who knows you know who knows what the kids i mean i look at the kids today the kids you know the 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 20 year olds today they're more into stuff that that i was into as a kid than their own stuff you know i mean you know 80s music is coming back obviously 80s entertainment is popular or else they wouldn't be remaking all this crap in in the TV shows. If they didn't think it make it, you think they're doing it because of nostalgia? No, they're doing it because of cash. Because nobody wants to see their crap that they're writing now. And everybody wants to see Magnum PI again. You know. But they want Magnum with a cell phone and 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 doing research on the internet instead of uh going to to, to the you know, the guy down at the bar, Rick, you know, they want him doing research on the internet, you know, I'm surprised they don't re remake, uh, Starsky and Hutch and, and, you know, and Huggy Bear is now uh, Huggy Bear's YouTube channel. Yeah. So I don't think the kids that are today, when they're my age, they're going to be longing for the days of the 2020, to be honest with you. Um, because people just focus on the, the crap that's going on negatively. Because we had negative stuff in the 80s. Nobody wants to talk about it, though. You know, Nobody wants to talk about the mad men and the mad women. That we had running, running the, running our politics on on every side and every country. We had some nut jobs, okay. And uh, and crime, crime was out of control in the eighties. Are you kidding me? People think it's bad now. No, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You know, everything was worse in the 80s in terms of that. My goodness, crime's been going down generally since 1991. People like to go, and I'm not going to get into the politics. I don't even want to, it's just not my thing. I could care less. I'm not, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't care less who wins. I don't even uh, participate in any of that stuff. Bunch of, they're all the same. Bunch of devils. Care who you who you like. If you like any of them, you're 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 on the wrong track. I'll tell you that right now. Mark my words. Um, but uh, so, but we like to ignore the 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 crappy parts about the '80s and and the stuff that uh, we don't like to talk about and think about. But. Um, but I don't think the kids today are going to be doing the same thing about these years. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. It, it's just hard. Because uh, there again, we don't have the um, the memory tools that everybody is, has today with regards to the Internet. I mean, you know, everything today is recorded and uh, observed. Of course, we have, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just tough. 
Will we have another decade like the 80s? Ah. Maybe I just say no because I don't want there to be another decade like the 80s, to be honest. It's good stuff. I don't know. Well, guys, I think I'm just going to tie this up right here. I've bored enough people. Um, I've probably lost a couple hundred subscribers. That's that's fine. I don't I don't care. Whatever. Go watch uh, somebody else. <laughs> um, I had a complaint about the number of ads. This channel isn't monetized, so it's not me. Uh, direct your complaints to YouTube. It's that's all YouTube, my friend. It's got nothing to do with me. I can't even. I have no control over the ads whatsoever. Um, I'd remove them all if I could. I'll, I just tell people, hey, ad blockers are free. Go get Firefox. Get an ad blocker. Um, go that route. But whatever. Well, guys, you guys have a, a good week. I hope everybody had a nice, safe um, New Year's. And uh, it is another week, uh, first week of 2023. And I don't even know if I'm going to post this video. Another one, really? Come on, guys. Where is he? Oh, well, you got close, boy. Yeah, I know. You want something? See, now they're going to go call the cops. Protecting them. Oh, I wish I lived here. What's this mountain called? It's Chiliad, right? Right there. This is, uh, is it Gordo? I can't remember. I don't remember the names. The top of the world, though. We walked a long way. I feel good. <laughs> I feel good. I feel energized. <laughs> oh, shit. I need to go go to the bar after this. <laughs> well, I'm not walking down. I'm going to spawn uh, Sanchez or something and go down. I'm not walking all the way back down. Um, well, guys, I, I appreciate you hanging with I'm, I'm just rambling. Don't don't take anything that I said. Any, any It's just uh, it's just rants and raves. That's all. That's all. It doesn't mean a. If I listen to this, I'd probably say, "Well, I, I don't even agree with myself." <laughs> you know. Uh, so I might be blasting myself in the comments. What are you thinking of? I don't agree with that crap. You don't know what you're talking about. And one guy in the comments said, um, "I need to learn my history. I need to learn my music history of the '80s because I don't know what I'm talking about." And um, he also said, I probably never bought a cassette tape in my life. That I was just a youngster pretending. Well, I wish. Well, actually, no, I don't wish. I'm glad that I'm not one of these younger generations, that's for sure. Yeah, he's fine. He's not going to hurt you. Are you kidding? See, that's a Gen Z -er right there. I guarantee you, millennials. Look at that. He's fine. It's just a kitty. And that sums the whole thing up right there. Ugh. Go to your safe space. Alrighty, guys. Um, if I offended anybody, I apologize. I'm going to apologize ahead of time. And uh, it's no big deal. It, it don't get upset. It's, um, like I said, it's just rants and raves. 
Everybody have a good weekend, though. It's not the weekend, though. It's weekend is over. It's Sunday night. Everybody have a good week. And um, make 2023 different. You know, don't worry about what's going on in the world. We got a lot of crap going on in the world. Um, I read on, on Drudge that there's another war starting up, possibly. You know, like like it's never started up there before in Kosovo again. Um, uh, you know, we can change this stuff. But sometimes you you just have to forget what's going on in places that you can't really do anything about and just focus on changing the world that's within your reach, you know, look inward and, and look into your, you know, start in your own household and then start in your neighborhood and make, make a couple changes. And if everybody did that, make a big difference, but all right, guys, enjoy yourself and, um, enjoy the music that's coming up this week. Tune in for that Miami vice. That's not getting much love. It's good stuff. It's all it. Oh, it's it's top drawer stuff from from not just. It's mostly eighties, but it's you know. There's the Doors on there. They got a lot of good tunes on there. Check that first volume out. It's good. I'm not saying just because I put it's on my channel. It's good stuff. I I've been listening to that those MP3s for years. Most of those MP3s that I put together for that compilation, that Miami Vice compilation, are older than YouTube. I've had them longer than YouTube's been a, a thing. You know, so check it out. It's good stuff. All right, guys. Bye.